Welcome. Well, oh God, no way. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the flat top noob. I'm going to go out here and freeze just so I can make you some chicken chili. Yes, chicken chili. So stay with me, ground beef chicken. Well, it's not really beef, but I'm going to do this stuff up on the flat top and take it inside where it's nice and warm in the crock pot. So what I want to do is just throw this brown chicken on the, on the griddle. Let it go and sit there for a moment. Now I'm not going to season this uh, simply because it's going to go into the actual chili in the crock pot with all the good fixings and stuff. So what we're all, all we're trying to do is kind of like with your ground burger, but it's just ground chicken, is get it all chopped up into a tiny little beef stuff. So what I always like to do is just cut these up into little Ground chicken is pretty forgiving. So, let that cook for a few minutes and then we'll, we'll come back. Now it's like to flip it. I just chopped it all up like that, so what I like doing is let it sit flat and like cook on the bottom, and then I'll flip it again and let, let the other side cook. So you might be asking yourself, hey Ryan, why chicken and not beef or deer? Well, for one, I ain't got no deer. Yeah, I talked to my brother, brothers about that. But two, my wife can't have beef, so the substitute now is chicken, which is fine. I I've made this probably two times now, and she absolutely loves it. And to be honest with you, you can't tell whether or not it's chicken or beef after it's done. I do the same procedure when uh, I'm making taco meat for her, because I'll just I'll I'll eat this for the taco meat as well. And but at this point, I've already seasoned the heck out of this with the taco meat. But I'm not going to season this because it's going to go into the actual chili, and there's there's no point. There's absolutely no point. So, but we'll let that sit there for a few more minutes and then flipper and chopper and flipper and chopper and flipper and chopper. Oh man, this is starting to sound like a horror movie. <laughs> That's pretty easy, isn't it? So after, like if I'm doing my, if I'm doing like the nachos with this, at this point in time, I'd be adding some uh, black beans and some kidney beans and some, uh, some corn to it. Yummy, yummy. So let's put this stuff in a bowl and then go back inside because I've got some stuff that doesn't like this cold. So what I'm going to use is some diced tomatoes, some diced tomatoes chili ready, dark red kidney beans, chili beans, tomato paste, and some tomato sauce. And then I'm actually going to cheat. Instead of using cumin and stuff, we're going to use the McCormick chili mix. So if this stuff's good, um, we don't like it too spicy, too hot. So that thing works pretty good, so we're gonna throw this stuff all into the crock pot and go from there. So what I'm gonna start with is throw in the tomato sauce in there. Then I'm gonna put the 
tomato paste in there. I know I'm left handed and I can't get the camera on the other side. Now I'm going to go with some diced tomatoes and then we're going to actually put one of these chili mix in there. And then we're going to throw some diced onions in there. Throw our meat in there. We'll put the other package of seasoning in there. We'll throw beans in there. Throw the rest of the tomatoes. Now we're going to throw the lid on top of it. Throw it on for four hours and let that thing simmer. So in about an hour or two, I'll come back and see what we have and we'll stir it up. Speaking of stirring stuff up, I can see in the comments already that you're going to say, there ain't no beans and chili. Well, we're in the Midwest, and guess what? There's beans and chili. So we're going to stir this thing up, get this thing going, and uh, come back in another hour or two and stir it up some more, starting to get the uh, aroma going through the house. Smelling pretty good. I do not know how to cook for just three people, so... Never have, never been able to. It's just what it is. I don't know. I think when we were younger, we just didn't have much food. And now I cook for an army. So I'll be back. All right. It's pretty much well done, guys and gals. You see it boiling. It is a boiling. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Throw it in a bowl and let it cool down. All right, so here's some chicken chili. I'm gonna make me some peanut butter sandwiches to dip in it. I know, but that's just a St. Louis thing that we grew up with when we were kids. So let me know down in the comments if you think this is a soup or just a meal or whatever it is they call this stuff. And I understand beans and chili is not chili, but you know what? It's the Midwest and it's chili, like I said before. Subscribe, like, do whatever you want to do. But this is a flat top noob and we are going to eat the chicken chili and I'm out because it's cold.